Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I just want to go over a few things here related to the white ink and the DTF machine. Um, I like to make these videos frequently, especially on topics that people are questioning all the time. Um, today we're going to discuss basically the white channel and we're going to discuss the white option for the setting. Um, several um, effects can be done um, when you are preparing an image and this is this is uh, an important one here. Uh, for example, this image right here that has this little, uh, I guess, drop shadow around the border down here. In order for the Flexi to recognize that area and, and, and actually give you that effect, um, the proper setting needs to be selected, okay? So right now we are in the, in the first tab. This is the basic information tab, which is basically going to allow you to put how many copies you want. It's going to talk about what size the job is. It's going to have your media size, which in this case, we're using the, the menu from the 12 inch machine. Um, otherwise, this will show up at 24 inches as opposed to uh, 11 and a half, which, uh, uh, which is your, your area for, for your 12 inch machine. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take you guys over to the last tab, which is the tab that has the little magic wand at the end okay now on that particular one um you're gonna go down to the bottom here and in that in this section here you're gonna you're gonna look at the channel and you're gonna look at the white option and in the white option there's a few choices in the drop down that you could select um i personally like to use the one that says transparency mask um this is gonna this is gonna give you the option of the shadow that you guys are looking for and it's not going to give you a solid white area uh, over those dots um, so um, if we by any chance select driver setting or solid under or any of these other options that are there you're you're going to get white in the area where you need the white but you're not going to get that effect of the gradients or the half tone of the white um, that effect is only done with transparency mask so what I like to show you guys up here is another tab which can preview for you what it is that you're going to see. And, this, and it's this one right here that has the, 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 the four colors right here, the CMYK little tab right here. So that tab, which is just this one right here, this tab is going to give you basically um, when we select the preview and we uncheck everything except the one that we want to preview, which in this case is the spot white, as you can see right here, the spot white is showing us not only the solid area here, but it's also going to show us the area around the half tone. Okay, so that is very different than perhaps what we would get on something like this, where you're only printing this area right here, and that means that there is no white in the section. So this setting right here, this is this is your driver setting. This is that basic driver setting that we were discussing before. So if we want to get this effect, which is going to give you both the white inside and also the border, we want to be able to, um, to use the transparency mask option. So what I recommend people to do is um, it's create different presets. Up here, you have the capability of, of, of setting up a preset. And in this particular preset, um, you're going to save it as and you're going to name it something. Like in this case, I have it, I have it set up with a a particular name and um, this will also have let's say um, the size that I usually want to work with in the film um, the, the sorting to the left to the right in the center uh, obviously the mirror all of these are presets that you definitely want to have already saved uh, and you could you could create as many presets as you want you could you could um, you can name them differently so that you know that if you want transparency mask or if you want driver setting, then obviously that'll be um, the setting name that you want to that you want the preset to have. So um, another small piece of information that we want to discuss is, has to do with how much white is the amount that you want to lay down behind. Because remember, you you guys have the white that goes 
part of the design, and then there's the white that goes behind all the colors, right? So that that white density is controlled right here on this bottom part right here. Um, I personally recommend somewhere starting at the level of 60%. Some customers prefer 70, 80%. Um, the white is, is a tricky situation. You want to, you want enough white to, to cover well on darks, but you don't want to oversaturate the white. And you also, you'll notice that when you're printing and the white starts to run off. Well, if the, if the ink is running off, then that means that you're definitely overloading. So very rarely you want to work that at a hundred percent. Uh, and if you notice here too, if we switch our driver setting uh, onto something else like transparency mask or solid under, um, you're going to have this density under the black ink uh, menu pop up. And then once it pops up, you'd be able to control that too. And you definitely want to control how much white you put behind black. Um, in some situations, like on the driver setting, the computer takes over and it will control that um, on, you know, on their own. But if you if you want to be able to control that, you want to work under solid under. Um, the only issue with the solid under is that it's not going to give you this particular effect that you see here. So it is important that we pick the right setting based on the file that we're bringing in. If it's all vector and solid spot areas, by all means, select the solid under. That works really good. The driver setting, it's also a good one as well for that. But Whenever we want to do half tones or we want to do anything like this, we want to be able to switch to our transparency mask. And that's transparency mask is going to be um, the, the optimal one for that application. Um, that's the one that you're going to use for any time that you're going to need to do anything um, with uh, half tones or a gradients on the design. Um, stick to a low density on the white, somewhere in the midpoint somewhere around 60%, 70%, that's ideal. 100 is a little too much. And um, I'm gonna show you guys what it is that the effect does after it prints. And um, again, you can always go back here and preview it before you print it. So it's just remember to switch back and forth your setting and go back in here and take a peek at your preview because whatever it shows you here is what the white that's gonna print in the end, okay? So here we have the stuff that we printed a little while ago, okay? So this one is, is, this one is our transparency mask. If you can actually zoom in, you'll be able to see the little areas around the border. And then over here we have our driver setting printout. So the driver setting printout, as you can see, doesn't have the solid white inside this area right here. It does give us the half tone, but it doesn't give us that. So that's the reason why that could be happening. If you ever run across that issue, then take a look at your driver setting. That's going to determine whether there is, the machine's gonna put white here as well as in that area here, and you end up with what you really want, which is, in this case, not just the white solid, but also the border around this area right here, that halftone effect that's there, okay?